I miss the old Kanye, straight from the gold Kanye, chop up the soul Kanye, set on his goals Kanye. What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to another Supercoach video. This video is very close to my final team. Uh, what have we got? 51 days until uh, the first round. That, yeah, so I don't, know about, I don't know about anyone else, but my shorts just got a whole lot shorter because my dick just got a whole lot harder. I always get very keen for footy season when uh, the summer of cricket comes to an end. I think we've got one test match left, maybe some one days, but let's be honest, our side's pretty fucking piss poor at the minute, so that's not too enjoyable to watch. So I'm very keen for footy season. So I'm going to run through my team and then go over a couple of players that aren't guaranteed to stay in the side. And look at what other options I've got. So in the back line, I've got Jake Lloyd, Rory Laird, Zach Williams, Mark Blitzars, Connor Rosier, Isaac Quainer, Jez McLennan, and I think it's Jacob Kaczynski for Hawthorne. Uh, midfielders, McRae, Patrick Cripps, Clayton Oliver, Dusty Martin, George Holland smith Haley, Bewley, uh, Bailey Scott, Charlie Constable, Riley Collier-Dawkins, and Riley West. I think it's Riley Collier-Dawkins. Rucks are Grundy, Goldstein, and Darcy Fort. Forwards, Danger, Heaney, Chad Wingard, Isaac Rankin, Luke Schultz. Uh, Lockie Schultz, I think it is. Boyd Woodcock, Josh Corbett, and Ian Hill. So, I think a lot of teams, uh, they've got your five midfielders. You kind of... It's kind of suggested that you stack your midfield from the start because they're your better scorers. However, I've got four primos and I've gone with four premiums, so to speak, in the back line with Lloyd, Laird, Williams and Blitzars. Now, I don't think Williams and Blitzars can come under the title of premium. So, but what I've the reason I've done that is because the back line this year is pretty hard to pick. Um, it's... Some of the rookies, um, they're not, from what I'm reading and looking at, they're not guaranteed to start very early in the season. Um, so you're not going to be making bank on them to try and upgrade to your new, to better, more premium. So that's why I've gone with that instead of five premiums in the midfield. Plus, I'm also putting a lot of trust in Hall and Smith. I genuinely believe he's going to be a star for uh, Gold Coast. And I think he's going to score pretty decently uh, most of his games. So that's he's my sort of fifth uh, major ball winner that I've picked for the midfield there. Um, and then down forward, I've just got Danger, Heaney and Wingard. I think with Mitchell out, Chad Wingard's going to get to more midfield time. I think he's a gun. I think he's going to be a lot happier being back in Victoria. Playing under Alistair Clarkson. I think Alistair Clarkson's a genuine wizard. He can take pretty average players and turn them into decent players, so when he gets a star, he's only going to make him better. Um, rookies this year was pretty hard. Um, some of them are more expensive, like Rosier and Quainer. They're a bit more dearer than, than your normal rookies. Um, I wanted to get Walsh in, but he was 200000 straight off the bat. Didn't really rate that. Um, Darcy Fort, uh, I was having a Geelong supporter, so I, I keep up to date with them most weeks. And he's picked at the uh, to to take the number one ruck position for Geelong. It's apparently it's between him and uh, Reece Stanley. Now I don't know why they're not pursuing with Ryan Abbott. He pretty much, you know, played a better game uh, than Max Gorn last year in the final. But he, so I'm not sure what's going on with Ryan Abbott. But for me, Darcy Fort. At that price, he can earn you some really good money if he gets the starting gig. Uh, obviously, that if he is playing, that kind of takes my ruck loophole out. Um, but to be honest, I don't know if I'd ever captain Grundy or Goldstein. So, yeah, that's that for me. So, people that aren't guaranteed to stay in the side. As much as I want to roll with Mark Blitzarves, I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to keep him in the side. Um, I could get him out for Lockie Whitfield. Um, he's, you know, he had a good average last year, and I think he's going to be in a lot of people's sides this year. Um, Dusty Martin's not 100% guaranteed um, compared to, you know, the year before last year, he was like, if you didn't have any team, you weren't, don't know what you're doing, but last year, 
didn't have a lull, so to speak, but it, or it wasn't as it wasn't shit by any means. But he just didn't score very well for us for people in his side. So he could come out for a Josh Kelly potentially. Uh, I've still got 154,000 remaining, so I can kind of put that towards someone different. Like I said, a Whitfield, maybe a Josh Kelly. But that's what I'm tracking with so far. Um, I'm pretty happy with the rookies I've got in there. I'll do some more research, and there could be some potential guys that come in and go out. Um, Kaczynski for Hawthorne may not be permanent, but... and. And then maybe Charlie Constable, I'm not 100% sold on him. I know a lot of people are saying he's the the rookie to come in. Geelong's size is going to be pretty hard to break into, but I think Geelong had the most debutants last year than anyone, so they are known to try new players. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so this is close to my final team. Um, I'm thinking about doing some videos on players that I'm, I'm going to recommend to teams that aren't quite on anyone else's radar, such as Holland Smith. And some potential rookies like maybe Josh Corbett and uh, Connor Rozier. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I'll have more of Supercoach videos coming out more progressively now as we get closer to the first round. So yeah, take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. I hate the new Kanye, the bad mood Kanye, the always rude Kanye, the news Kanye. I miss the sweet Kanye, chop up the beast Kanye.